Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem and the Sacred Stones. This is Justified Chill tuning in and we and we are about to take on Borgo Ridge. Now, let us begin. Alright, so this is my second take and I mean sure I probably could have done without the scene in that but at the very end but what had happened was I had accidentally pressed B, skipping a the end one of the ending cutscenes, and kind of needed. So I'm here. I am re-recording. Today is May 24th. It's around 1:50 now, and uh, I'm actually t I'm actually feeling pretty good. I had a couple slices of watermelon. And I'm kind of glad I scrapped that last one because I burped, I stuttered, uh, and I messed up on quite a few things, but. I yes, I still I'm still feeling good. Uh, yesterday, uh, but uh, why I posted so uh, kind of late? Um, yesterday is my sister's track, one of my sister's track meets, and we went there, and she had actually paced first uh, again, the second week in a row, and that's kind of ha and I'm proud of that. It's uh, my sister is achieving, you know, who wouldn't be proud of their family achieving? Now, this is a new unit that we are going to get. Uh, she's worried about her friend Colm, or I guess it... Yeah, friend, we'll go with that. Alright, her name is Naimi. She used to be a village from called Lark. Why does that sound familiar? Lark. Uh, I don't know. Alright, lots of bandits had killed, had burned uh, down her village and only Colm and her escaped. That's kind of sad. And it's kind of sad. Be forced out of your home. And the only one, of, but at least she's with a person that it's her childhood friend. Yeah. Uh, look, dude, you just got done saying about not uh, burping in your last one. Here you are gonna burp after eating watermelon. Goodness, dude, stop that. Watermelon at least tastes good. It is nice and juicy and everything. All right. I guess a friend of my friend, uh, the enemy of my friend, uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Dude, you're messing up again. Need to stop that. Defending our countrymen, our friends, our neighbors. We must help. All right. And she leads us into the den of Bosma's bandits. All right, and the mechanic that hasn't is being used practically in every Fire Emblem out there is range. Uh, Alright, there's Mighty Bosbub with his mighty nose and his mighty nose hair. Alright, as you can see, right from the start, there are cracks in these walls here. These walls can be broken down and made into new uh, spaces. First, you must strike at them with your weapons before you're able to cross them, but regardless. You're not going to want to use Naimi just yet. You're going to want to have her go up here, and you'll see why in just a second. For now, we'll have uh, a father-son tag team work down on this wall. Oh, just one point away from destroying the wall. Are you serious? Goodness. Well, I guess we'll have Naimi... Uh, not Naimi. Vanessa, dude. Uh, Vanessa destroy it with her javelin. Alright. I'll have Erika take the lead. Kill it! Kill it with fire! Er, it's a sword. Whatever. Goodness. Damn. We'll have friends back her up. And I'm not gonna destroy that wall. It's right next to Mulder. But for now, uh, I guess we'll end it. Miss. You notice how the cape is just long enough to where she doesn't trip over it? I mean, she's wearing a skirt and a cape, and don't you think that's kind of... Uh, well, no, I can't say anything, because Supergirl does that, and... Who knows? Alright, enter our new character, Calm. He enters in as a neutral unit, starts off at level 1. He is a thief, and, uh... We're going to talk to him with Naimi, his childhood friend. 
and here we are. What are you doing here? I told you to wait for me, didn't I? I couldn't, it's too dangerous. Come on, let's go home. We don't have a home, don't you get it? Look, just leave everything to me. I can take care of it in a flash, but I don't need a clumsy oaf like you tagging along. But, but, well, this is ridiculous. We'll talk later. Don't be my side, Mimi. Goodness. Well, I, at least he cares for her. Yeah. Alright, Colm is a thief. Uh, in order for thieves to open up doors and lock uh, and uh, chests, you, they have to have lockpicks. No lockpick, no chests, no doors. You didn't, uh, no more. Alright. Let Eureka open this door and... Kill it! Kill it with fire! Really, dude? You're gonna take a hit? When I ran through this earlier, he hadn't taken a hit, and that kind of makes me sad that he did in that particular portion, but whatever. RNG! I'll have, um, that have to go there. Let's hope he lasts another round. Okay, so, not very often, but mostly during chess type areas. There will be thieves that happen to show up. You must get there or steal the web the item away from the thief if you can. And I forgot to mention this earlier. You may only steal extra items like I'll show you in a second. And the speed of the thief must be higher by at least a half or a two or is it half? In their inventory, uh, you must have in uh, you must have inventory space for it. So, uh, okay, let's look at Calm again. All right, so you will not be able to steal weapons. At least, not I recall in this one. You, he, uh, other thieves will be able to steal lockpicks. Can steal lockpicks from your character, uh, from your thief, and other items that they have. But thankfully, as long as you kill the thief before that happens, then you have no problem. Now that you've seen uh, Calm run in, we'll show... Oh, dang it, I'll show that in a second. We'll have Namie come in and finish off this bandit. That's some childhood friend teamwork. So nice to see uh, friends helping other friends kill other people. <laughs> Brings a tear to my eye. Alright, support conversations. These do matter, especially for certain characters, because they will give major stat boosts. Um, they also affect towards the end of the game. Um, what stats they boost also really depends on what their affinity is. I'll show you their affinity in a minute. Fire, light, and... Uh, what was the other one? Shoot. I don't know. Those boost more towards attack type things. And later on, it'll if you get it to a certain point, they will, uh, some characters will have an ending together. Which is kind of sweet, really. I'm not going to spoil who they are, but, and I'm not, I'm probably not going to do those on screen, because those ones take forever to do. Like, uh, okay, so, as you're seeing here, this is a conversation that happens at level C. There are three different types of, uh, support conversations, C, B, and A. C being the lowest, A being the highest. Each character can only have five support conversations under their belt at any one, uh, given time. And, um, at that, and if they, once they reach five, that'll be the maximum amount of, uh, their, that'll be the maximum amount of conversations that they'll have. If you open the chest and get a javelin from it, another useful trick that I've, uh, that's been around, you trade with, and, uh, if something's gonna happen and your character's not ready for it, say, He's wielding an axe, and then there's a lance coming, a unit coming towards you. You can switch the weapons. Uh, whatever weapon's at top, or the first weapon in line, will be the weapon that they're equipped with. So once you do that, I mean, sure, it's kind of pointless in this round because um, you know we're gonna have to wait a whole nother turn before he can use it. But it's still a nice tactic to do. You trade and move the weapon to the top. And you can also re-equip them, too, at the same time. For now, we'll end the turn. Let's see what our enemies do. Nothing. Well, 
Mulder, take this out. Not Mulder, Turf. Garcia! I don't know how they're getting, uh, how the both of them are. But. Or Seth, take out our neighborhood thief. If it hits. And it hits, thank goodness! Because. That, even if there's 94, it doesn't mean it's going to hit 100%. The only way that you're not going to miss is by hitting 100%. I've had things miss at 99%. That it is not good. No. 